to one. Here we go. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Yes, we are live now, also on Instagram. Hmm, so let's see who is coming. And before we get started today, maybe for those who are making it early and who finding me easily here on Instagram or here on Facebook, what are you dealing with right now? What is on in the foreground of your day, of your mind, your emotions? Where are you? What's happening in your world? And um, just so you know where I am, that I'm not only asking, I'm willing to share, of course. I just started to do a cleanse and um, an Ayurvedic cleanse. And I guide these Ayurvedic cleanses. I think I touched upon that yesterday. And cleansing is so, I mean, when I look at the different types of people that do a cleanse, there are the ones that like the things to be super technical, like, you know, you have to have the right description and you have to follow the recipe. And there is goodness in that. And then there is uh, people who are super, um, super like fluttery and they don't know where to start and they, they notice some stuff is not right for them. And, Again, that can happen. So my best in between motion, between giving directions on how you can cleanse and how you are, you know, trying to find your way in is exactly what I want to meditate about today, about the, the path of choosing you and the path of, you know, becoming more self-intimate and to be more explorative, to go more into a field of trusting what you're experiencing and <clears throat> dealing according to the results. Okay. So what are you dealing with? Lee is dealing also with the cleanse. Yes, I wonder why. <laughs> so Let's go and sit quietly for a moment. And maybe as you were listening earlier to my introduction, to use this time to become clear and intent on what you want to choose for the rest of the week. If you're also in a cleanse, what you want to choose for the rest of the cleanse. Breathe in, breathe out. Become more aware that we all are mysteries. We were all robots. That's uh, clear. We would all look the same and the world wouldn't be as it is. So there is like something in there when we allow ourselves to touch that and be intimate with that, with that mystery. And if we become more self-exploratory, then we can become more tender and available to everybody around us. So while you may be closing your eyes, listening to my voice, settling into your chair, and making a decision today to step into a more conscious self, into your inner, inner kingdom. Mm. 
And take another breath out and in. Allowing that connection to come from the outside inwards and to share the inside with the outside world. When the breath becomes shallow in our day-to-day life, it's the lack of, you know, looking for the depth of you, partly. Because we so well try to function along the lines of what we made ourselves, our roles as mothers, children, employee, maybe caregiver, whatever it is, father, son, friend. And we forget to look deeper into the reasons that make us us. But instead we're restlessly surfing on the tendency to live a shallow, maybe surfaced life, running from activity to activity, from new story to new story, from social media chat to the next best video. So again, take another breath in and out and allow your brain to accept, to come into a a little bit into your own mystery, to nudge your mystery a little. And with the next in and exhale, to directly breathe into your heart center. Allow yourself to focus there a little. And look for the part in that heart of you that made you come here today to this meditation. That is looking for this guidance beyond and the connection with the self. And the part in you that is ready to ignite the inner wisdom and the desire to make yourself comfortable in your own home, in your own kingdom. Because that part is the part that is maybe a little bit more or that is ready to call you and teach you about how to be more radiant and lighthearted, more trustful in all your intuition. And more sure and clear. And that the qualities that are hidden within you, they come and wake up, they come to life. And that these qualities become more an inner and outer agreement and an alignment. Like when you would give a promise to somebody, give a promise to yourself by placing your hand on your heart 
and say, I promise that I'm choosing to unlock and discover my inner mysteries. I'm choosing to get closer to the life within me and around me so I can come more aware. I am agreeing from this moment forward to step into my tender center, to connect to my inner light. and to follow my body's wisdom. Be open and accepting and receptive to all the ways I will be guided. I am ready to awaken my deepest, most compassionate heart and wisdom and to love what has been forgotten to love in me. Listen closely as these sentences re-vibrate in you and in the space around you. become receptive and open to what wants to talk to you. including everything you heard before, your worthiness, your self-compassion, you are allowing to be here the way you are. And let's marinate together in this sweet moments of self-tenderness and intimacy. And as you feel your heart widening, your mind dropping into your heart, again, speak into the room, I love you, adding your name at the end. Maybe we can spread that love a little bit more in a gesture of holding hands with whoever has shown today. And send your love from your heart to the right hand to pass it on to someone who would be standing right from you. And 
And from the right hand through the heart center into the left, joining the circle. Maybe including members of your family or close friends or people you want to have in this circle. And then we let go and come into the gesture of Namaskaram. Back to ourselves. Hmm. And you can relax in your seat. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for coming. And make this a little practice to notice where are you not listening to yourself? Where are you in all this reality of pleasing and adapting instead of moving into really the richness of your kingdom and wisdom? Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, Barbara. It's good to see some familiar names popping up here in the window again and again. I shall see you tomorrow. And whoever wants to share in the group, whatever you need to share in the Wash Your Hands of Meditate group, feel free to, to post inspiring posts, or maybe even if you have projects that you find helpful, please don't feel shy to share the love and to let your wisdom show in our group. So I see you tomorrow.